In a somber moment for journalism and the BBC community, we remember the life and legacy of a truly remarkable journalist and presenter. Today, we pay tribute to the late George Alagaya, a respected BBC icon, who passed away at the age of 67 after a courageous battle with bowel cancer. George Alagaya, a name synonymous with journalistic excellence, devoted over three decades to the BBC, fearlessly reporting from some of the world's most challenging regions. As the voice of news at six for the past 20 years, he brought us stories that mattered and made us understand the world like never before. BBC Director General Tim Davey said, and I quote, We are thinking of his family at this time. George was one of the best and bravest journalists of his generation who reported fearlessly from across the world as well as presenting the news flawlessly. George Alagaya's journey was one of diversity and dedication. Born in Sri Lanka, he spent his childhood in Ghana and England, an upbringing that instilled in him a unique perspective on global affairs. Joining the BBC in 1989 as a foreign affairs correspondent, George rapidly climbed the ranks and became the Africa correspondent. He earned accolades for his reporting on the famine and war in Somalia and received a BAFTA nomination for covering Saddam Hussein's campaign against the Kurds. George Alagaya's commitment to truth-telling and empathy was celebrated not only by the BBC, but also by prestigious organizations. In 1994, he was named Amnesty International's Journalist of the Year for his courageous reporting on the civil war in Burundi. Oday, we say goodbye to George Alagaya, but his legacy lives on through the stories he told and the lives he touched. Our thoughts go out to his wife of 40 years, Francis Robathan, his two sons, and three grandchildren. If you have any special